You both said today that you love each other and I believe it, but I'm trying to tell you love is not enough for a successful marriage. There's so many other things that go in it. It's not just about you anymore. Here is today's case. Jessica and John met at a bar five years ago. After a long day of standing in front of the camera as a model, Jessica was in need of a sex on the beach. All was well in their relationship until John discovered just what type of model Jessica really was, a sexy webcam model, which brings them to divorce court. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of McDaniel versus McPhillips. Thank you, Juan. Jesse McDaniel? Yes, Your Honor. You have brought John McPhillips. Yes, Your Honor. To court today. You are suing him for $250, the cost of a ring light. Yes, and you are counter-suing, sir, for $1,500 misuse of funds. Yes, Your Honor. I understand the two of you have been in a relationship since March of 2015. Yes, Your Honor. There are a number of problems, and you want to address them today in court. Yes, Your Honor. I'll start with you, Ms. McDaniel. Give me some background, please. I am questioning my relationship with him now because he doesn't like my job. He is not okay with it. In the beginning, he was okay with it because he didn't know the full extent of what my job was. He's just being petty about everything. What is your job? I'm a webcam model. What does that mean? I am basically someone who goes online and fulfills fantasies. Like if they want me to dress up like a sexy schoolgirl or um, a naughty nurse, something like that. Yeah, he doesn't like it. Um, but that's basically what I do. What do you say she does for a living, sir? You can call that a career, Your Honor. She is a webcam stripper. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Wait, Your Honor, I'm not a stripper. She gets naked on camera for other men. They pay, they tip her. Uh, she does over-sexualized things. I mean, what do you call that? I, in my vocabulary, that's a stripper. She said that you, at first, you were fine with it. Is that true? And it <laughs> I changed? didn't find out about it until two years into our relationship. You didn't tell him? No, you Your Honor, did I, I did not because I did not know if our relationship was going to be an actual relationship or if we were just going to be friends. For two years? You didn't know that for two... You didn't know for two years whether you were going to be friends or, or in a relationship? You were in a relationship. What did you tell him you did for a living for two years? That you were just... That you were a, a model, a lingerie model? Yes, Your Honor. I told him that I was going to shoots and they were... They were private shoots and that's when I would work. I got really good at hiding it, which I know I shouldn't have, but I got really good at hiding it while he was off and working, doing his own thing. Well, so why didn't you tell him? Well, I know why you didn't tell him, because you didn't think that he would like it and he doesn't like it. No, he So that's not. why you hid it from him? How did you find out? All right, Your Honor, so I am just going about my daily business one day and um, I get a text message from my buddy and he's like, yo, what does uh, Jess do for work? And I'm like, um, she's a model, you know. When I first met her, that's all she was talking about. Oh yeah, I'm a model this, model that, so I knew she kind of did like scantily clad shots, bikinis, motorcycles, the whole nine. But I'm like, yeah, she's a model. Um, he's like, because I, I'm on this uh, website and she is naked on it. So I hit a U-turn. His house was right around the block. I rush in and boom, there she is for the world to see on camera. She had different uh, screen name on there. And so I grabbed the keyboard and I'm like, Jess, what the heck is going on? And her face went ghost white, Your Honor. She froze up and everything, and then immediately the screen went black because she blocked my friend from that chat room. Wow. That is probably the worst way in the world for your boyfriend to find out that you are a webcam model is for one of his friends <laughs> to see you online. Yes, Your Honor. And to say, I know her. <laughs> Nobody knows my name on there. Like, because I go by a, a persona. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't want anybody to know my name because I don't want stalkers. Um, but he revealed my personal information. I lost out on a lot of money that night. We came to an agreement afterwards that I wouldn't do it while he was home. I, Your Honor, I, I come home and, you know, we get into this huge blowout. And finally, we came to this agreement. All right, as long as you keep it out of sight, 
out of mind. Keep well, you it. can't you can't really keep it out of sight because she's on the worldwide internet. <laughs> You're saying you don't want to see it. Yes, I don't. I don't want to see it. Uh, see, I'm a bartender, so I work late nights, so it kind of works out. She can do her thing at home while I'm mixing up cocktails. But that arrangement didn't work out for you. No, Your Honor. Why is that? You know, I'll be home and she'll have to do a show, and I'll hear the dinging of like tokens going off, like she's getting tips. He said it sounds <laughs> like a casino. Yeah. It, I don't mean to laugh, but. It sounds like a slot machine going off in the bedroom, and I'm just sitting on the couch That's trying I'm to watch. because I'm good at what I do. It's just rough, Your Honor, you know, and, because and I know what's going on on the other side of that door. And, you know, she's doing this all night, and then I come into the room, and, you know, I know what's going on in there. Yeah. And. She's wearing these old sweatpants and one of my uh, old work shirts. She's like, all right, you ready for bed? The romance is completely dead. The sex is boring, Your Honor. Mm. I, I mean, <laughs> if she can flaunt this, why can't she, you know, spice things up for me? That's a valid question. It was the same. It, the, the sex is still the same. Like, it's always been that way. He doesn't think I'm fulfilling anything for him because I'm fulfilling fantasies for other people. Here's what happened. For two years, you kept this from him. Yes, Your Honor. And that's really the issue because he doesn't know what else you're keeping from him. Yes. That's one of the problems. And number two, if you had been upfront and honest, maybe it could have been something that the two of you could have come to some kind of compromise on, but at this point, two years in, you're already living together and he's already invested and you've merged your lives together, so he feels like he, he sort of has no other choice but to accept that this is what you're doing for work because this is the way the two of you have been supporting the household yes, and he just didn't know it. He didn't complain about any of the money that I had, though. Well, he didn't know how you were getting the money. He thought you were modeling and not in a sense of being a, a webcam model. He calls it online stripping. He thought that you were getting it in another way. So, of course, he wasn't complaining. But once he learned the truth, it's an issue. You have to understand, quite a few people would struggle with their partner having a job that involves uh, provocative modeling. When we first met, there were modeling pictures on Instagram, but they were pretty tasteful. Now that she's getting more popular with the webcam... They're a um, little more provocative. They, uh, a I'm little more lie. provocative. Are you kidding? <laughs> Your Honor, like, it's embarrassing for me. And what's going on with Instagram? When we first met, there were modeling pictures on Instagram, but they were pretty tasteful. Now that she's getting more popular with the webcam, she's trying to brand herself more and more towards that. Mm -hmm. They're a little uh, more provocative. They, uh, a I'm little not more lie. provocative. Are you kidding me? You're like, look at that, Your Honor. I mean, my mom follows her mm. on Instagram. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> Miss McDaniel, now at first you told me you were doing this for work. Now on Instagram, you're doing it for free. No, Why? I don't do it for free. I, I get paid per post. Who's paying you? Just different sponsors. <laughs> so you're spon this is how you look, this is the way you're you're sponsoring products? Well what what are you selling? A fantasy. Your, your, <laughs> your honor, like it's embarrassing for me. I have to like this What do you think is... about the fact that his mother sees these photos? My mother sees the photos. I didn't and, ask you about your mom, I asked you about his. Me. Oh, you blocked her? Probably. I'm not gonna lie, I probably blocked a lot of his family and a lot of his friends. Why are you suing for $1,500 for misuse of funds? Well, Your Honor, uh, we were living together for a while. At a certain point, the AC went out in her house. It's a bit of a fixer-upper. And so she asked if I could chip in. I gave her the $1,500 to, like, get the AC unit fixed. And this was before she took a girl's trip. So I'm like, all right, cool. You go have fun with your girlfriends. Well, I'm texting her. I'm calling her. Nothing completely ghost mode. I start worrying like something's happened or anything. I get in touch with her family and I'm like, you know, I'm trying to get hold of Jess. Has anyone heard from her? And they're like, oh no, uh, you won't be able to get in touch with her. She's probably in surgery right now. Mm. And I'm like, excuse me? Surgery for what? They're like, oh, she's having cosmetic work done. 
And so she didn't tell you about that either? No. No, she didn't tell me about that. Um, I didn't tell him about it because who can complain when you have boobs in your face? You don't have the privilege anymore of keeping things from your boyfriend. But it, was, Ms. it wasn't a Ms. lie. Miss McDaniel? It, it is a lie. It is a lie because you're telling him you're somewhere that you're not. No, I didn't. This go is on a problem. This is this is a problem. But he thinks he I can't spent trust that you. money. He I didn't spend you. his money. Like he he swears up and down I spent that money. I made that money on my own. This was. But you have to stop lying about where you are. That is not the point. How is he ever going to know what to believe when you continue to hide things from him, right. based on what you choose not to tell him? You're lying by omission. Your Honor, here's the thing. I'm trying to get some semblance of security because I do love this woman. Mm -hmm. I, I love her with all my heart. And, you know, the heart wants what the heart wants. And I just want her to give this up. We can find another way. Are you willing to do that? I can't. It's, it is my livelihood and it, it keeps us afloat. Like, it keeps, it keeps my family afloat. I told him that I did explicit modeling and that's where the money was coming from. So he didn't mind if I got naked in front of a, a photographer that I had to meet up with and, you know, go to, go to a studio to meet with. Mm -hmm. Your, this Your Honor, is, I was unaware but you, that you, there was... But you, you, do understand, you do understand there's a difference in working with a professional photographer and granting fantasies for strangers and having strangers provide you with tips and sending you gifts. I understand that the way it's set up, you can have a, a wish list yes. and these strangers can buy you things on your wish list and packages are showing up at the home from these strangers. That's what she says is going on, that her uh, cousin Customers are providing her with these gifts, but she is always asking me for money for this, that, things around the house. You want a child with who? With her, Your Honor. Like I said, I love her and I want a family. And that's enough for you to do what? Continue in a relationship that's not working out for you in a number of different ways? Now, I will ask you, do you want more children? No, I don't. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. She is always asking me for money for this, that, things around the house, but then I see all these random gifts coming through and she says her clients buy them for her, but where's all her money going? You think that she's spending it where? I think she's buying all these things for herself. All okay. like It's called a wish list. You put it up online, you give people the link, and then they go to the website, they buy you the stuff off of there. You were supposed to pay the landscaper. He did not pay the landscaper. I came home and it was supposed to be done and the yard looked like crap. And what are you saying happened? He's not financially responsible. <laughs> he used the landscaping our, our, money yeah. for shoes. All right, Your Honor. Yes, I did use the landscaping money for shoes. It was a limited offer like buy now or miss out. I bought didn't want to miss out. Yeah. I, bought, I bought now. I took him out. His birthday is eight days before mine. So I took him out. We went to a really nice restaurant. We had a really great dinner. Everything was great. We came home. The night was great. You know, it wasn't like normal because I played up that night for his birthday. Mm -hmm. He enjoyed it. So he was like, let's do something special for your birthday. He called me, told me to get dressed, put on something nice, do my hair, do my makeup, because it was going to be a great night. We get to the restaurant, we have a nice dinner, everything's good, and he's like, he's like, I got you this awesome birthday gift, and I was like, okay, cool. So we get home, and there's nothing, and so he confronts me about it, and he's like, look, babe, I'm really sorry. I lent my friend the money. Um, and he didn't get it back to me, and I needed these shoes. Did you use the money for her birthday gift to buy another pair of limited edition shoes? I did loan my friend the money, and letting him know that this money is for Jess's birthday. I need it back by this date. And he's like, yeah, man, I got you, of course. Um, and then the date came around. He's like, I'm so sorry, man. Like, he ghosted me, like, and I'm like, all right, this is just great. So I took what I had, 
and did what I could with it. Took her out to a nice dinner. But did, did you buy shoes with some of the money? Yes. You used so the you, money. when you say you did what you could with it, what that included buying yourself a gift instead of your girlfriend. Was this after you found out about the webcam it, modeling? It was. I think he's he's upset about finding out what you do for work. I and understand. He said that, that he's okay about it, but he's not. The real issue is really because the lies amplified the issues that he has with you doing it. Because I'm telling you now, the problems that are going to continue to come up is, well, what else are you not being honest about? Two years is a long time to lie about what you do for a living. It makes him feel like he didn't really know you. And what else you could possibly be keeping from him, which is why he's questioning the Amazon packages, which is why he's out now shopping for shoes. He did that the whole relationship. I just didn't realize exactly how much he had been spending on clothes and shoes and everything. And he wants a child. You want a child with who? With her, Your Honor. Mm. Like I said, I love her and about seven years ago, I was in a really bad place in my life. Mm -hmm. I wasn't doing too well, and I never pictured myself as a father. Mm -hmm. But I turned 30 this year. I, I want a family. I want to raise my own kids, and I, she has two amazing kids. I love them to death, but I want one of my own, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. But you're not willing to it, give up spending $200 on a honestly. shirt. Ms. McDaniel, you do not have a lot of room to speak right now in this situation. Now, I will ask you, do you want more children? No, I don't. She doesn't want more children. Yes, Your Honor. And you don't like what she does for a living. Yes, Your Honor. But you love her, and that's enough for you to do what? Continue in a relationship that, that, that's not working out for you in a number of different core value ways? Love is not the thing that carries an entire relationship. You do understand that, right? Yes, Your Honor. There, there are levels of compatibility. One of those is, if you want to have a future with someone, you have to discuss the fact that you, you want to have children. She doesn't want that. That's not even something that you can compromise on. You can't have half of a child. I mean, I was about to go into this entire speech about the career and say, you lied to him from the very beginning, but that's not the biggest issue here. You have said that you want children, and she does not want that. That's your personal choice. You are right about your decision, but wrong to try to convince the other one to move in your direction. You're suing for $250 for a ring light. You said that he got angry because you were involved in the webcam modeling and he took the ring light. He was just being petty. He said he wanted to, he was gonna take it and pawn it basically and get the money and pay a bill. You returned but the ring light, sir. That's yes. my order to you. You're suing because you said she used $1,500 to get breast augmentation, it was supposed to be used for something else. Well, sir, are, are you or are you not using the product that she purchased? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> your, your, makes your honor, look better, doesn't it? Your honor, <laughs> it makes I look am. so good. Yes, you are. There will be no money recovery in this matter. I do wish the two of you the best, but you have a, a you have to think about the choices that you're making in this relationship going forward. Okay. Good luck. You know, I'm not 100% happy I won't be getting the 1500 back, but I mean, I don't owe anything either, so. We've Let's... been together five years and he still hasn't given me a ring. Like, why, why would I put any more effort into it if you're not gonna do that and you want a baby? I will give you a ring if you quit your job. That's my deal breaker. We could talk I, about it. I also want a kid, Jess. But it's gonna ruin my, are you gonna pay for like, um mommy makeover, like plastic surgery afterwards, like. Hey, so I can get that <laughs> I love you though. You know I love you. 